Tempo is hut, two, three, four for Private Presley. He's at Camp Chaff. The king of rock and roll will be keeping time to non-hip bugle calls. Tired, the gyrating guitarist's departure from the public eye left his blue jean fans all shook up, so we hear. But Elvis doesn't seem to mind at all. The news of Elvis's induction had sparked competition between the armed forces for his services. The Air Force wanted him to tour their recruitment centres and the Navy even offered to create a specially trained Elvis Presley company. But Presley wanted no special treatment and was happy to serve as a regular GI. He was meant to report for his induction into the Army on January 20, 1958 the very same day he was scheduled to start filming King Creole. Paramount contacted the Memphis Draft Board, requesting a deferment until the shooting of the film was complete. The Draft Board had already been deluged by letters from angry fans who saw the conscription as a government attempt to sabotage Elvis's career. President Eisenhower even received letters regarding the Elvis Presley draft situation. In order to ebb the tide of criticism, the draft board agreed to grant Elvis a 60-day deferment. After completing the King Creole film, Elvis reported to the local draft board to begin his service in the United States Army. The enlistment process turned into a media circus. Dozens of reporters and photographers, as well as a film crew, were there to document the historic event. Flashbulbs popped constantly as Elvis went from station to station. He was asked questions, examined and tested. Pronounced fit, Private Elvis Presley, serial number US 5331076161, was understandably upset about leaving his distraught mother and father behind.